Welcome to Amazing Life 1-2 Channel Guides Today you watching Jessica Chastain Lifestyle Biography and Beautiful Photos I hope you enjoy this video Like Share Subscribe Channel Thank you for watching video Jessica Chastain Biography Jessica Michelle Chastain, born March 24, 1977, is an American actress and film producer. Known for primarily starring in films with feminist themes, she has received various accolades, including an Academy Award and a Golden Globe Award. Time magazine named her one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2012. Jessica Chastain Chastain at the 2015 San Diego Comic Con Born Jessica Michelle Chastain March 24, 1977, age 45, Sacramento, California, U.S. Education Juilliard School BFA, Occupation Actress Film Producer Years Active 2004 Present Works Full List Spouse Gianluca Posse de Preposolo M. 2017, Children 2 Awards Full List Chastain developed an interest in acting from an early age and made her professional stage debut in 1998 as Shakespeare's Juliet. After studying acting at the Juilliard School, she was signed to a talent-holding deal with the television producer John Wells. She was a recurring guest star in several television series, including Law & Order, Trial by Jury. She also took on roles in the stage productions of Anton Chekhov's play The Cherry Orchard in 2004 and Oscar Wilde's Tragedy Salome in 2006. After making her film debut at age 31 in the drama Jolene, 2008 Chastain had her breakthrough in 2011 with six film releases, including the drama's Take Shelter 2011 and The Tree of Life 2011. She received Academy Award nominations for playing an aspiring socialite in the period drama The Help 2011 and a CIA analyst in the thriller Zero Dark Thirty 2012. Her biggest commercial successes came with the science fiction films Interstellar 2014 and The Martian 2015 and the horror film It Chapter 2 2019. She continued to receive critical acclaim for her roles in the dramas A Most Violent Year 2014. Miss Sloan 2016 and Molly's Game 2017 and the television miniseries Scenes from a Marriage 2021. For her portrayal of Tammy Faye in the biopic The Eyes of Tammy Faye 2021, which she also produced, Chastain won the Academy Award for Best Actress. Chastain is the founder of the production company Freckle Films, which was created to promote diversity in film, and is an investor in the soccer club Angel City FC. She is vocal about mental health issues, as well as gender and racial equality. She is married to fashion executive Gianluca Posse de Preposolo, with whom she has two children. Early life and education Jessica Michelle Chastain was born on March 24, 1977, in Sacramento, California, 123, to Jerry Renee Hasty, Nate Chastain, and rock musician Michael Monasterio, 45. Her parents were both teenagers when she was born. Chastain is reluctant to publicly discuss her family background, she was estranged from Monasterio, who died in 2013, and has stated that no father is listed on her birth certificate, 4-5. She has two sisters and two brothers. Her younger sister, Juliet, died by suicide in 2003 following years of drug addiction, 6. Chastain was raised in Sacramento by her mother and stepfather, Michael Hasty, a firefighter, 2-7. She says her stepfather was the first person to make her feel secure, 5. She shares a close bond with her maternal grandmother, Marilyn, whom she credits as someone who, always believed in me, 7. 8. The Juilliard School in New York City, where Chastain studied acting Chastain developed an interest in acting at age 7, after her grandmother took her to a production of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, 2. She would regularly put on amateur shows with other children, and considered herself to be their artistic director, 7. As a student at the El Camino Fundamental High School in Sacramento, Chastain struggled academically, 4. 9. She was a loner and considered herself a misfit in school, eventually finding an outlet in the performing arts, 10. She has described how she used to miss school to read Shakespeare, 11 whose plays she became enamored with after attending the Oregon Shakespeare Festival with her classmates, 12. With too many absences during her senior year in school, Chastain did not qualify for graduation, but later obtained an adult diploma, 9. She later attended Sacramento City College from 1996 to 1997, during which she was a member of the institution's debate team, 13. Describing her early childhood, she recalled, I grew up with a single mother who worked very hard to put food on our table. We did not have money. 
There were many nights when we had to go to sleep without eating. It was a very difficult upbringing. Things weren't easy for me growing up. 14 in 1998. Chastain finished her education at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts and made her professional stage debut as Juliet in a production of Romeo and Juliet staged by Theaterworks, a company in the San Francisco Bay Area. 15, 16, 17. The production led her to audition for the Juilliard School in New York City, where she was soon accepted and granted a scholarship funded by actor Robin Williams. 7, 9. In her first year at the school, Chastain suffered from anxiety and was worried about being dropped from the program, spending most of her time reading and watching films. 7, 17. She later remarked that her participation in a successful production of The Seagull during her second year helped build her confidence. 17. She graduated from the school with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in 2003. 17. Personal life Despite significant media attention, Chastain remains guarded about her personal life and chooses not to attend red carpet events with a partner. 190-174. She considers herself to be a shy person and in 2011 said that she enjoys domestic routines like dog walking and playing ukulele rather than partying. 191. She has cited the actress Isabel Huppert as an influence for managing a family while also playing out their roles on screen. 192 Chastain is an animal lover and has adopted a rescue dog. 174. She was a pescatarian for much of her life. Following health troubles she began practicing veganism. 174 193. She is an investor for Beyond Meat, a meat substitutes company. 194 In the 2000s, Chastain was in a long-term relationship with writer-director Ned Benson that ended in 2010. 195. In 2012, she began dating Gianluca Posse di Preposolo, an Italian count of the Posse di Preposolo noble family, who is an executive for the fashion brand Moncler. 7. 174. On June 10, 2017, she married Preposolo at his family's estate in Carbonara, Italy. 196. In 2018, the couple had a daughter through surrogacy. 197, 198. They later had a second daughter. 137. They reside in New York City. 199, 200 career early work, 2004, 2010. Shortly before graduating from Juilliard, Chastain attended an event for final year students in Los Angeles, where she was signed to a talent holding deal by the television producer John Wells. 18. She relocated to Los Angeles and started auditioning for jobs. 18. She initially found the process difficult, which she believed was due to other people finding her difficult to categorize as a redhead with an unconventional look. 19. In her television debut, the WB Network's 2004 pilot remake of the 1960s gothic soap opera Dark Shadows, she was cast as Carolyn Stoddard. 20. The pilot was directed by P. J. Hogan, but the series was never picked up for broadcast. 20. Later that year, she appeared as a guest performer on the medical drama series Er playing a woman she described as psychotic, which led to her getting more unusual parts such as accident victims or characters with mental illness. 18, 19. She went on to appear in such roles in a few other television series from 2004 to 2007, including Veronica Mars 2004. Close to Home 2006, Blackbeard 2006, and Law and Order. Trial by Jury 2005-06-21 Chastain at the 2010 Mill Valley Film Festival in 2004, Chastain took on the role of Anya, a virtuous young woman, in a Williamstown Theatre Festival production of Anton Chekhov's play The Cherry Orchard in Massachusetts, starring with Michelle Williams. 22. Also that year, she worked with Playwrights Horizons on a production of Richard Nelson's Rodney's Wife as the daughter of a troubled middle-aged film actor. Her performance was not well received by the critic Ben Brantley of the New York Times, who thought that she somehow seems to keep losing color as the evening progresses. 23. While working on the play, she was recommended by Nelson to Al Pacino, who was looking for an actress to star in his production of Oscar Wilde's tragedy Salome. 18. The play tells the tragic story of its titular character's sexual exploration. In the play, Salome is a 16-year-old, but Chastain, aged 29 then, was cast for the part. 24. The play was staged in 2006 at the Wadsworth Theatre in Los Angeles, and Chastain later remarked that it helped bring her to the attention of several casting directors. 24-25. 
Writing for Variety, the critic Stephen Oxman criticized her portrayal in the play. Chastain is so ill at ease with Salome, not quite certain whether she's a capable seductress or a whiny, wealthy brat, she doesn't flash out either choice. 25 Chastain made her film debut in 2008 as the titular character in Dan Ireland's drama Jolene, based on a short story by E. L. Dr. O. inspired by Dolly Parton's song, Jolene, 26. It follows the life of a sexually abused teenager over the course of a decade. Chastain's performance was praised by a reviewer for the New York Observer, who considered her as the only notable aspect of the production. 27 28. She won a Best Actress Award at the Seattle International Film Festival. 29. In 2009, she had a minor role in Stolen 2009, a mystery thriller film with a limited theatrical release. 30 31. Also in 2009, she played the part of Desdemona in the public theater production of Shakespeare's Tragedy Othello, co-starring John Ortiz as the title character and Philip Seymour Hoffman as Iago. 32. Writing for The New Yorker, Hilton Alves commended Chastain for finding a beautiful maternal depth in her role. 33. In 2010, Chastain starred in John Madden's dramatic thriller The Debt, portraying a young Mossad agent sent to East Berlin in the 1960s to capture a former Nazi doctor who carried out medical experiments in concentration camps. 34. She shared her role with Helen Mirren, with the two actresses portraying the character at different phases of her life. 34. They worked together before filming to perfect the voice and mannerisms of the character and make them consistent. Chastain took classes in German and Krav Maga, and studied books about the Nazi doctor Joseph Mengele and Mossad history. 34. William Thomas of Empire termed the film a smart, tense, well-acted thriller, and noted that Chastain pulses with strength and vulnerability in her part. 35. She also appeared as Mary de Benham in an episode of the British television series Agatha Christie's Poirot, based on Agatha Christie's 1934 novel Murder on the Orient Express. 36 Breakthrough and Rise to Prominence 2011-2013 Chastain attending the premiere of Coriolanus at the 2011 Berlin International Film Festival after struggling for a breakthrough in film, Chastain had six releases in 2011 and garnered wide recognition for several of them. 1837. The first of the roles was as the wife of Michael Shannon's character in Jeff Nichols' Take Shelter, a drama about a troubled father who tries to protect his family from what he believes is an impending storm. The film was screened at the 2011 Sundance Film Festival, and critic Tim Roby of the Daily Telegraph noted how much Chastain's supporting part aided the narrative. 38. In Coriolanus, an adaptation of the Shakespearean tragedy from actor-director Rafe Fiennes, she played Virgilia. 39. Her next role was opposite Brad Pitt, as the loving mother of three children in Terence Malick's experimental drama The Tree of Life, which she had filmed in 2008. 40. 41. Chastain signed on to the film without receiving a traditional screenplay from Malik, and she improvised several scenes and dialogues with Pitt. 42. She considered her part to be the embodiment of grace in the spirit world. In preparation, she practiced meditation, studied paintings of the Madonna, and read poems by Thomas Aquinas. 42. The film premiered at the 2011 Cannes Film Festival to a polarized reception from the